Hi, my name is Yalin Zhang, Team Racine Productions host and moderator. And joining us now is David Krukoff. Welcome, David. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? I'm great. Wonderful. You know, I'm loving campaigning. Absolutely. Thank you so much for making the time to join us today. And love to start with you telling us a little bit about your background and your experiences. So uh, welcome. Well, uh, I'm a third generation Washingtonian and a third generation resident of Ward 3. So if I was to write an autobiography, uh, maybe in the future, the title would be Connecticut Avenue because I grew up on Woodley Park, in Woodley Park, and, and now I'm in Van Ness, UDC. Um, and I've been an involved Washingtonian uh, for years, um, mostly in the, uh, in terms of politics, in the democracy field. Um, I'm also a commercial real estate agent. I've owned a wholesale bakery uh, in Ward 8 back in the day. Uh, I've sold the company. I'm now doing business transactions as a commercial real estate agent. But all along, I've been focused on DC enfranchisement and also on trying to build a stronger body politic, a more healthy body politic in the District of Columbia. And I'm looking to work with the council and with the residents of Ward 3 to do that in this cycle. Well, thank you so much. Sounds like a diverse range of experiences. And so speaking of which, some people, some of our audience members may recognize your name from a previous run as an independent for another position. Correct. So tell us why you're running for DC council this year and why as a Republican? So I've been an independent. Uh, I was a Democrat when I was, I was younger, then I became a Republican, then I became an independent, and now I'm a Republican again. Um, I am uh, more of the supply side of the economy thinking. So I believe that my views in terms of economics are a little bit more aligned with uh, more Republicans than Democrats. I, so I believe in the power of the free market. So that is the, mo the majority of the reason why I'm a Republican. I could have run as an independent in this cycle, but strategically that would have been a mistake. Had I run as an independent, there probably would have been a re Republican as well. And we both would have been sunk from the start. So I've been a member of a, of a group called the National Association of Nonpartisan Reformers. And um, one of uh, my... Uh, mentors in that group um, uh, is named Neil Simon. And uh, he just said to me, David, he, he's like one of the senior people with United America. And he, he's run for US Senate before as independent and it didn't work well. He said, just pick a party, make it yours. Um, and uh, that's what I've done. And uh, the, the economic tenets of most of the Republican party are more in line with where I stand, and I believe are more in line with where the majority of Ward 3 residents stand. Uh, so I also, though, wish to have a more healthy body politic in the District of Columbia, and I'm running on the very notion of political diversity. So it's important to me to not be a Democrat. Um, so there has never been a non-Democrat elected to the council from a ward in the entire site, in the entire history of the Home Rule Charter. I hope with the help of the residents of Ward 3 to be the first and to provide a, a little bit of a different um, appearance, a different message to ourselves in DC, to our body politic, but also more nationally. Uh, and I think it's a very important step that cities um, that are have migrated from, let's say, the mid left to the far left, must take uh, to have, uh, and we should also look to not self silo or to be in places where only one side exists. And I'm hopeful that we can have a more healthy body politic, a more diverse body politic, a more uh, place where we can have civil discourse occur in the District of Columbia, the capital of the United States of America. 
Well, thank you for that explanation. Appreciate that. And to our, our next question, tell us about your top three issues. What are you hoping to change? Well, I've already referenced uh, political diversity. That's number one. It's just the actually repair um, of our body politics. So I am a reformer. So that would be number one. But um, I'm very concerned with public safety. I think that that's the number one concern of the residents of Ward 3, the voters of Ward 3, with whom I speak with uh, on a daily basis when I'm canvassing or on the phone or via email or via text. Uh, so there has been a significant increase in crime and criminal activity in Ward 3, specifically um, in PSA 203 along Connecticut Avenue, and people have concerns. There's also economic concerns and sort of a migration of away from the city for the image that's being portrayed by the council. So uh, the, I would say public safety, number one, uh, and then, and, well, political diversity, public safety, and then um, sort of oversight and guidance of the council to provide a economic climate that's conducive to helping our city in, which, in what's going to be tough times over the next four years. Thank you. Well, that will certainly, that information will certainly help voters decide. And another question is, so why are you the best choice for voters? Well, there's no doubt that my opponent is a thoughtful person um, and he has some ideas, but he is a solidification of the status quo. He is to the left of the present council person, Mary Che, and he would admit that in gatherings he's had within democratic circles in the ward. So he would join with Alyssa Silverman, most likely, Charles Allen, Brianna Doe, Char Robert White, and on the council, there is just no room for more on that side of the, of the aisle. It's, it's not just the left, it's the farther left. And that block can write legislation. And then when the mayor, who I think is not a good manager and has not been doing particularly well recently, uh, but she has very good instincts about when things are not, are going too far, her instincts will be to veto something. But if that block exists, they will overwrite her veto. And then it's going to go to the House of Representatives, the Oversight Committee, which is going to be controlled most likely by Republicans. So the whole back and forth is not going to be healthy. It's not where we should be. We need to have someone like me to politely, empathetically say, wait a second, can we look at this from a different angle? Can we not have a block that could overwrite the mayor's veto when her instincts are that it's too far. Um, so that's why I'm the difference maker. Um, whether my opponent is, is a good person or not and has a, um, a sound understanding of the system, that, that may be. But he does not send the message that we must send to the entire city and to Congress that we have a more balanced District of Columbia. And I'm the only choice. I am the change agent in this category. So I would urge you, unless you are happy with the status quo, your, your choice is clear. David Krukoff must be your choice in Ward 3. Thank you, David. And since your team sent over a number of images, I want to just take a moment to share this photo. So tell yeah. us a little bit about this photo. Well, this is this is back in, in the spring. So I like to make lemon lime aid. Um, so I and I have a little bit of a catering background. So I like to get flowers and I like to have a nice table and um, this is at McLean Gardens, and we had a group when we were invited to participate with other candidates, and our table was the best table. We had the best appearance, and of course, I loved having my, my volunteers there with me, and thank you so much for everybody who's joined our campaign, um, and that, that's just an example.
example of a beautiful day interacting with with the voters of this in this case McLean Gardens which is off of Wisconsin Avenue uh in Upper Northwest near Wisconsin and Porter Street got it well lemon limeade sounds very good to me and, yeah uh, we might not be having that for some time with the winter months. Well, listen listen if you um ha have any shredding to do this weekend we are going to be um our campaign is paying for a community shred and we will have a table set up uh on the 15th saturday from one to four at the horace mann school 44 30 uh, newark street that's newark street just before it bisects new mexico avenue and there you may have some lemon limeade on us so please bring your documents let's let's shred that's fantastic thank you david and now moving along to some mechanics so when does voting begin okay well voting is really quickly it's it's friday the 14th uh it's already the boxes are open uh so we've already been mailed our ballots and the ballots are you can you can complete it and mail it back or you can actually walk it into a voting box as early as the 14th personally i think that's a little bit too soon there could be variables that happen that the electorate should be exposed to but that's the rules right now um and I'm in generally in favor of early voting and of uh mail-in voting maybe not to the extent that we have in DC again maybe a little bit of a polite pushback is what you would get from me say hey can we modify it some and make it a little bit more commonsensical uh so that's what you're looking for 14th that's Friday if, uh, but all the way through November 8th um so we look forward to uh seeing you out there uh with your ballot in hand please uh interact with us and interact with everybody and participate it's better to participate than spectate absolutely and so there you have it there's three ways to vote you can drop off your ballots at these drop boxes that david mentioned which will be opening on october 14th and early voting and of course voting day on november the 8th and if you still need to register to vote for more information you can go to headcount.org and there you'll find a variety of information to help you get registered and participate civically which as david mentioned is so critical uh, to protecting our democracy so david how can people learn more about you and uh, support your campaign well Obviously, you can go to davidforward3.com. It's the number four or the word F-O-R. We acquired both domains. Um, you can give me a call. My cell phone is 202-437-7443. You can text me um, and, and just be in touch. Obviously, we'd love to have you volunteer with us. We, 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 we need activity. We need people. We need, I got shirts for you to wear the best looking shirts around like you saw in that in the picture um we would love your donation too although money is not our focus our focus is your vote is your participation and potentially for you to communicate your feelings about the situation in dc and your your desire for change to people in your sphere of influence in ward three so let's let's make this let's have some geometric progression of of our uh, so of support for our campaign we are the change agent now is the time indeed thank you so much david and there you have it that's david krukoff running for war three council member thank you so much for viewing thank you for having me viewers please follow team racine on social media and subscribe to the Team Racine YouTube channel. Most of all, thank you for watching.